So hopefully you enjoyed that demonstration. Now we have to determine, was this actually magic or was it science? In fact, it was the magic of chemistry that allowed us to do this demonstration. We started out with a clear solution and actually what was in here was some water and some carbonate solutions. So we had sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate. Those two solutions together formed kind of a buffered high pH solution of about pH 9. Okay. So then when we poured this into the wine glass, it went pink. That was because of something called phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is an indicator solution. It's often used in acid-base titrations to indicate when something's gone from acidic to basic. So because we had a basic solution, uh, this turned into a pink solution because of the phenolphthalein indicator. Then we poured it into the melt glass and it went white and cloudy. That was because we had something called barium chloride in the melt glass, just a little bit at the bottom. That reacted with the carbonates that were in the, from here from the first solution to form precipitate. So precipitate is basically the solid form of a chemical that uh, comes out of a solution when uh, the solution can't dissolve any more of it. So when the solution's saturated, then the precipitate will come out. So in that case, it was a barium carbonate precipitate that came out of solution, and that's what we saw in the glass. Then we poured this into our beer glass and saw this nice clear yellow uh, solution with a bunch of gas bubbles being released. So to accomplish that, we had some acid in the glass and we also had something called brome thymol blue, which is another indicator. Brome thymol blue is also used to indicate acid and base. So it will go from more of a blue color. Okay, so in here it's more of a blue color. That's because it's a bit more basic in here. When it goes to acidic, it goes yellow. So we also had some really high strength hydrochloric acid in here. So that turned it into a yellow solution. Also, the acid dissolved the barium carbonate and released some of the CO2. So the, the bubbles you saw released were CO2 being released. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the demonstration and happy learning.